Hello, this is Ravish. Right, to uh, enter into very important zone that is vapor pressure. The vapor pressure, uh, total, uh, very important, totally very important. Why? Because the colligative properties depends upon the vapor pressure, my dear students. Please be focused. Humble request. Let us start the vapor pressure. See, first of all, the vapor pressure. What it means actually? See, sir, first of all, <coughs> one container, right? In that, volatile substance, volatile substance, right? It is closed container, right? So, this is volatile substance, volatile substance substance so what happens so vapors comes out vapors comes out why because it is volatile substance see what happens here observe carefully my dears this is volatile substance so that is the reason vapors comes out right so these vapors exert the pressure on the surface of liquid right this is called as vapor pressure vapor pressure see my dear so nothing is there here over there just this is a volatile substance in a container right so volatile substance so that is the reason it evaporates it evaporates so that is the reason see the vapors comes out vapors comes out these vapors exert the pressure on the surface of liquid this is called as vapor pressure so definition of vapor pressure see my dear pressure pressure exerts exerts by by vapors by vapors at equilibrium at equilibrium so this is called as what my dears vapor pressure so here the factors affecting of vapor pressure that is very important my dears see the first factor temperature second factor nature of nature of liquid third factor boiling point boiling point fourth factor purity of liquid purity of liquid. these four factors will affect on vapor pressure my dear see my ideas you don't worry here the new term introduced that is at equilibrium you don't worry right actually what it means actually here the per suppose per suppose 10 molecules 10 molecules evaporated evaporated right if 10 molecules evaporated evaporated right 10 molecules 10 molecules condensate condensate so this is called as this is called as equilibrium this is called as equilibrium so my dears next to see here the first factor temperature first factor is temperature see observe carefully nothing is there here see temperature increases what happens vapor pressure increases temperature increases vapor pressure VP stands for vapor pressure increases see how sir how sir nothing is there my dears please be focused here i'm taking one container right in that volatile substance there 
or else volatile liquid, right? Volatile liquid, right? This is closed container, right? So that is the reason vapors will become short. Why? Because volatile liquid, volatile liquid, volatile liquid. So if I started eating, right, what happens? The temperature increases. So temperature increases means in between, in between liquid molecules, what happens? Kinetic energy increases. Increases. See, in between, in between the molecules, kinetic energy increases. So that is the reason. What happened, my dears? The tendency of, uh, sorry, the escaping nature will be more, my dears. So why? Because why? Because kinetic energy increases. So what happens? The escaping nature increases. Randomness increases. So that is the reason. These will be escapes from the surface of liquid due to kinetic energy increases in between the molecules that's all my dear sir this is first factor right temperature is first factor see second factor what sir so second factor is nature of liquid second factor is nature of liquid nature of liquid see sir nature of liquid Observe carefully, my dears. Nothing is there here. Intermolecular, intermolecular force of force of attraction attraction is less. Is less. So vapor pressure, vapor pressure is more. Pressure is more. So intermolecular force of attraction is less, vapor pressure is more minus. That's all. See through example one example. See here. Nature of liquid. Intermolecular force of attraction is less, vapor pressure is more. See second factor through example. In this container, what sir? What is this sir? Dimethyl ether is present. Dimethyl ether, dimethyl ether, right? In this container, ethanol is present. Ethanol is present. See sir, both are. Liquids, right? So, what do you observe careful, my dear students? Observe careful. Here, intermolecular force of attraction in the molecules is high, sir. Molecular, sorry. Force of attraction. Force of. Force of attraction. Attraction is more. In ethanol, in ethanol, force of attraction is more. Why? Because, why? Because due to, due to hydrogen, hydrogen bonding, due to hydrogen bonding. See, sir, hydrogen bonding, how it will be, right? CH3, CH2, OH, right? H O C H two C H three C H three. So this is one molecule, right? This is one molecule. See, observe carefully, my dear students. Here, the oxygen gets partially negative charge. Why? Because due to more electronegativity, the electrons pulls towards the oxygen side so it gets partially negative charge it gets partially positive charge so here also same happens my dears so this is partially positive charge this is partially negative charge so what happens here 
this negative charge and positive charge in between in between one bond is present one bond is present that bond is called as hydrogen bond hydrogen bond so due to hydrogen bond what happened my dears the in force of attraction is more in ethanol so that is the reason vapor pressure vapor pressure is less vapor pressure is less decreases right observe carefully in diethyl ether here the hydrogen bond is hydrogen hydrogen bond is not present not present present so that is the reason what happens force of attraction between the molecules is very less so vapor pressure is more vapor pressure is more so that is the reason my dear see vapor pressure increases so what happens the force of attraction in between the molecules is less so this is the nature of liquid that is a second factor third factor is boiling point please take down right third factor boiling point boiling point See, sir, what actually it means. See, boiling point increases. Boiling point increases. So, vapor pressure decreases. Vapor pressure decreases. See, why? Because, sir, actually, the less boiling point, if it is there, so that is the reason what happened, my dears, the vapors comes out more. So, less boiling point less boiling point boiling point more vapor pressure more vapor pressure more vapor pressure so next factor is what is that factor my dear purity of purity of liquid see so this is very important right the purity of liquid see the fourth point is purity of liquid my dear so <coughs> pure liquid always high vapor pressure pure liquid always high vapor pressure it's as compare as compare its solution its solution so pure liquid always vapor pressure is high sir why because see through example we'll discuss right here one container I'm taking, right? This is solvent, right? Solvent A, right? This is this is volatile substance, volatile liquid or volatile substance, right? So that is the reason. What happens? It vapors comes out. This vapors exerts a pressure on the surface of the liquid, right? This is the vapor pressure. So I am adding here to this container what solute B. Solute solute B I am adding. So what happens? So carefully, my dears, please be focused, right? Don't go anywhere, right? This is surface, right? So this surface 
here only solvent molecules is present only solvent molecules present whenever we added some solute particles occupies to surface area my dear surface area so what happens here what happens so here the surface area some solute particles occupies so that is the reason the vapors comes out less due to reason the solute particles occupies the surface area so that is the reason the vapors comes out less so what is the conclusion the pure liquid always have always have always have always have high vapor pressure as compared its solution so this is about the vapor pressure my dear so please be focused don't uh, uh, give up right learn like anything right take care bye